In this video, we're going to do some exam style questions on integration. Let's start off with the first question. So in question 8, it says the curve y equals f of x passes through the point 2 comma 6. Given f dashed of x is equal to 1 half x cubed minus 2x plus 3, find an equation for y in terms of x. So if we have f dashed of x, that's the gradient function. If we want to find f of x, we need to integrate. So what we can say then is the following. We can say f of x will be equal to the integral of 1 half x cubed minus 2x plus 3. And of course, we're integrating with respect to x. I'm going to show four workings here. Do check what your exam expects in terms of the workings or what your teacher asks for. f of x, we raise by a power and divide by the new power. So this will be 1 half x to the power of 4 divided by 4. We'll have minus 2x to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus 3x to the power of 1 divided by 1 plus our constant of integration. Don't forget your constant of integration as we're going to need it now to get our f of x written out with this value, this constant. And that's why we've got these points here. So f of x is going to be equal to 1 over 8 x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 3x plus c. As stated, the exam board that you're using or your teacher might not require this level of detail. This might be perfectly fine, so do check. What we've got here now is 2, 6, this point 2, 6. So what we can say here is that f of 2 will be equal to 6. So all I'm going to do is simply now substitute in x is 2 and set the left-hand side to 6. So that's going to give me now 2 to the power of 4, which is going to give me 16 over 8, minus 2 squared, which is 4, plus 3 lots of 2, which is going to give me 6 plus c. So that looks like 6 is going to be, uh, that's 2, that's going to be 8, that's going to be 4, 4 plus c. So that looks like c is equal to 2. Therefore, all we need to do is put this back together, as we've seen in previous examples in the videos before this. And we can say now f of x is equal to 1 eighth x to the fourth. We're going to have minus x squared. We're going to have plus the 3x. And we're going to have plus c, which is 2. So that now is our expression for f of x. A common error is that students don't add C when they're integrating and just follow this process blindly and don't then have the capacity or the, the relevant information to sub in these coordinates. So there we go. Generally speaking, that would be a relatively easy question uh, on the topic due to the powers that we've got of the derivative f dashed of x. Okay, the next one, we're told in question 9, the curve C passes through the point 4, 3. We're asked to find an equation for y in terms of x given that dy dx is 3x to the half minus 5 over 2x to the 3 over 2 plus 2x plus 1. So what we can say then, again, all we're doing is integrating the derivative. So we can say the following, y will be equal to the integral of 3x to the power of 1 half minus 5 over 2x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 2x plus 1. So in with this one compared to the last one, we have some fractional powers. Um, I think the only way they could be a bit nasty is if they were negative. Uh, but these are generally speaking the kind of thing that we'd have. Uh, in previous videos, we've seen all manner of different uh, integrals that we've had to deal with. I think the, the reason that these are more sort of exam style questions is the wording of each. We're asked to find an equation. So y is going to be equal to 3x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. And then we can have minus 5 over 2x to the power of 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2. So again, these are relatively uh, favourable for us. 2x to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus x plus our constant of integration. So tidying up. 2x to the power of 3 over 2. If we're dividing by 3 over 2, we're multiplying by 2 thirds. Uh, the 5 over 2 is going to cancel, which will be nice. x to the power of 5 over 2 plus x squared 
plus x plus c. So we've got to sub in 4 and that will give us 3. So that's going to give us now 3 is equal to 2 lots of 4 to the power of 3 over 2, which is going to give me the square root, which is 2. 2 cubed is going to give me 8. Minus now 4 to the power of 5 over 2. So take the square root, which is 2, and then uh, raise that to the fifth power, which is 32. So with this one, it's not necessarily the integral that's hard. It's just evaluating these is slightly messy. Um, x squared, well, that's going to give me 4 squared, which is 16, plus 4, plus c. So if we do that, what have we got um, on here? 16, 16 and 32 are going to cancel. Uh, so we're going to have 4 plus c. So c is going to be negative 1. 16 plus 16 minus 32 is 0. Um, so we've done that. So uh, therefore, nice and straightforward. Again, a relatively easy integral. Nothing, nothing crazy. I think, in fact... Um, other than the wording, some of the ones in the, the last video were significantly harder. I suppose it's just the way that these uh, questions are constructed that make them more in keeping with the exam style questions. Um, so that now is our integral and we found the constant of integration C by subbing in the boundary conditions or initial conditions. Okay, let's look at one more. The curve y equals f of x passes through the origin. Given f dashed of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 6, find the solutions to the equation f of x is equal to 0. Okay, so this one has cranked up a little, and we're going to have to use a couple of different topics. Now, we're told that it goes through the origin, so that point is going to be 0, 0. So if you're unsure and thinking, well, I really need a point here, well, we've got a point. It goes through the origin. It's just, again, the wording. So what we can say then is f of x, and we'll start off by finding the function. All we're doing is using the antiderivative or integrating. We're looking at the function that was uh, essentially differentiated to give this. So we can say that that is going to be now the integral of 3x squared minus 2x minus 6. So this one, again, doesn't look to be massively challenging in terms of the integration. So if you do want some more um, tougher uh, manipulation of, of powers of x or integrals, do check the, the previous videos. Um, so what we're going to have then is uh, 3x to the power 3 divided by 3. I prefer just to write x cubed. What differentiates to give me 3x squared? Well, the answer is x cubed. Same here. What differentiates to give 2x? Well, the answer is x squared. But I'm just going to, again, show full workings, as I, I know some exam boards are picky. Minus 6x to the power of 1 over 1 plus c. So f of x now is going to be equal to x cubed. Then we're going to have on here minus x squared. Then we're going to have minus 6x plus c. So from here, if we sub this in, 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus c. So from here, we can say c is equal to 0. Okay, that gives us now f of x. f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 6x. So what we need to do is find the solutions to this equation. f of x is equal to 0. Okay, so what we can say is the following. And this does factor. 0 is equal to, we can take x out. That will leave me x squared minus x. And then we're going to have now, uh, sorry, minus, let's just put that back, uh, x squared minus x minus 6. So if we just put in the minus 6, this is going to factor nicely. So 0 is going to be equal to x, uh, then we're going to have x minus 3, and we're going to have x plus 2. So with our integral here, the integration part was quite nice, fairly straightforward, nice and easy, but then we have a, a kick to this, that we need to find the solutions to this equation. This is a cubic function here, and we were told it went through the origin, but we can see from here now in factored form that this is going to give x is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 2. I'll put them in ascending order, and they are the solutions. So if we just consider what we've got here is a cubic function, and I'll just sketch it up. We've got a cubic function, and it goes through the origin. It's a positive cubic, uh, so we've got something that looks like this come round and it will do something like that. 
So this point right here is the origin, 0, 0. We've got negative 2, comma 0, and we've got uh, 3, comma 0 here. So we can say y is equal to f of x. Certainly don't need to draw that graph, but that might give you some idea. Hopefully by now you know that the derivative of a cubic function gives you now a quadratic. An integral, an integral of a quadratic should give you this cubic. So that's what we've done. We've integrated it, factored it, set it to zero and found the solutions. I would say on reflection, those were four relatively straightforward exam style questions. I think the next ones we're going to look at will be slightly harder.